We're here on Carmel Crescent uh, today in an area of significant impact from the Tantalan wildfire. Uh, this area where I'm standing is approximately three kilometers in a straight line or as the crow flies from where this fire originated. Fire moved very quickly to this neighborhood and severely damaged the properties here. Many, many destroyed homes very, very tragically. And we think of community residents at this time. Our firefighters work very hard in this neighborhood extinguishing spot fires. People ask, how, why is this so random? Why are some properties burned and others not? There are many reasons. Flame moves with topography and wind, and those are important variables. But it's also really important to understand that as this wildfire moved, like all wildfires, it threw embers up into the air, which landed hundreds of meters in front of the flame front. And these embers landing on a neighborhood will ignite objects in the yards, uh, around the homes, on the back decks. And they're small fires when they start, but they can quickly grow if they're not controlled. We are reminding the public not to travel uh, near the areas that are affected by the wildfires. If you don't need to be there, please do not be there. You know, uh, residents are trying to return home where evacuation orders have been lifted. It can be very traumatizing and difficult for those families and heartbreaking. There's a lot of devastation out, out this way and it's difficult for families. We're uh, on Bonsai Road here near Pockwalk Road. This is up in the northeast corner essentially of the operational area where the fire was. So this area was generally the head of the fire in many respects, uh, held here by a lot of hard work. Uh, had the fire progressed beyond this point, certainly we had properties on the other side of Pockwalk Road and indeed into Bedford uh, that were at risk. Uh, at present, there's still work going on up here. Behind me, there are dozer guards that are in place from the Department of Natural Resources and Renewables. Those are important. Part of the incident commander and the operations chief strategy to secure the perimeter of this fire was to bring in a large volume of heavy equipment and to dig down and scrape away the soil right down to mineral soil so there's nothing left to build. I was on the first alarm assignment uh, when the call came in as a grass fire initially. Uh, worked through the night Sunday into Monday morning, slept for a couple hours, worked all through the day Monday, all through the day Tuesday, most of the day Wednesday, all through the <laughs> I've been here since the start. <laughs> what keeps you going? Uh, it's my community. Uh, I, I, uh, I decided about Wednesday that uh, I was going to take time off from work uh, to just because I couldn't focus at work on my on my tasks. I needed to need to do whatever I could to try and protect my community.